Assume that y is defined implicitly by the given equation, find dy dx. Apply the steps. What we need to do is step one, differentiate both sides with respect to x. d dx of x squared minus y squared x equals d dx of 3x minus 1. Then here, derivative of x squared is 2x minus derivative of y squared times x. This is product rule. So it will be derivative of y squared times the second one plus y squared times the derivative of the second equals to derivative of 3x minus 1 is just 3. And okay, the next step is differentiate those ones. When you're differentiating y squared, it's not 2y, it is 2y prime y. So this will be 2x minus 2y prime y times x. This minus I'm multiplying inside. y squared is equal to 3. Now, I am done with the differentiation. I, I have an equation which has y prime in it, and it's linear in terms of y prime, and I want to, uh, and I want to solve it for y prime. So that means that every term without y prime, I should put on the right-hand side. So that means that 2 minus 2y two prime yx is going to be 3 minus 2x plus y squared. Then the coefficient of y prime, you see this whole thing, oh, with red looks better. This whole thing is the coefficient of y prime. You divide it to uh, the other side. So y prime is going to be 3 minus 2x plus y squared divided by minus 2yx. And that's how we find y prime using implicit differentiation. All three steps. Well, maybe I should, uh, I should have mentioned that where I'm using the steps. This is step two. Then this, from this point on, this is step three. You don't need to write them down, but I'm just showing why these are um, uh, the points that you start doing another uh, one of these things is where I put the step number. What about this one? Okay, let's differentiate both sides with respect to x. And well, when I look at the left hand side, this is quotient, yes? The quotient here will be derivative of numerator times denominator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared equals the right hand side, uh, this is three, derivative of sine of three x plus one. So, sine of u, the derivative is u prime cosine u. It will be derivative of 3x plus 1 times cosine 3x plus 1. And okay, one more step here. This will, derivative of x is 1, so it will be y minus x. Derivative of y, you just write it as y prime over y squared equals Derivative of 3x plus 1 is 3 times another 3 there. This will be 9 cosine 3x plus 1. Now, you have an equation for y prime. We have to solve it. First thing to do is that you multiply this to the other side. So that is step 3 starting y minus xy prime equals to 9 y squared cosine of 3x plus 1. And then 
Well, uh, this term has no y prime. I'll take it to the other side. So that means that I have minus x y prime equals to nine y squared cosine of three x plus one. And then now the coefficient of y prime is minus x. I will divide it to the right hand side. So this will be y prime equals to nine y squared cosine of three x plus one over minus x. And that's the derivative of y uh, implicitly defined y. Let me do this, this example. Uh, well, again, this is the last one. We differentiate both sides with respect to x. Uh, d dx of x times y. We know that the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. But if you have e to the power u, it will be u prime e to the power u. Okay. So that means that here I'm going to have derivative of x squared minus y squared. Let me write it like that. Times e to the power x squared minus y squared equals the right hand side will be derivative of x times y plus x times derivative of y. And then differentiate. On the left hand side, I have two x minus two y prime y times e to the power x squared minus y squared equals derivative of x is one, so y plus x y prime. Very nice. Now you notice that, yes, I got an equation which has y prime and we have two y primes, uh, two terms with y prime. So I will start first uh, expanding this guy over the sum. So this will be two x e to the power x squared minus y squared minus two y prime y e to the power x squared minus y squared. And then on the right hand side, it's y plus x y squared. Okay. Yeah. Now, the terms without a y prime, this is the term without y prime, it needs to go to the right. The term with y prime needs to go to the left. So here I will have uh, x minus x y prime minus two y prime y e to the power x squared minus y squared equals to y minus two x e to the power x squared minus y squared. I'm almost there. I can factor out y prime here. So it will be y prime times minus x minus two y e to the power x squared minus y squared equals to y minus 2x e to the power x squared minus y squared. And then now this is the coefficient of y squared and it needs to go to the other side. So it will be y prime is given by y minus 2x e to the power x squared minus y prime over minus x minus 2y e to the power x squared minus y squared. And that is the derivative of y, which was the implicitly defined function. All these three steps you have to know and you have to apply, be able to apply it for general equations, which has x and y in it.